So here's one thing I like about you, bro, is that um, you're probably one of the best screenwriters I know, one of the best script writers. Thank and you. what I mean by that is it doesn't matter what we're doing. Um, I remember when we were writing Everybody Hates Kyle, we would have brainstorm sessions and then we would have brainstorm. I'm a, I'm a person who plans very early in the week. We have the shoot on Friday. We had a brainstorm on Sunday. I don't get the final script until Thursday at like 11. <laughs> <laughs> but Warren is somebody who's able to put it together and really make it flow. And you're like, damn, like, like you're very good at pulling from your real inspiration in life and, and making a script in a, a crazy turnaround time, bro. Thank you, man. So, like, I know one reoccurring thing for you, like, in scripts and in skits is pooping pants. Okay. All right. <laughs> I haven't taken so, notice. But, so. But, okay. So shit. And then shit. Uh, episode three of Everybody episode Hates three. Kyle. What else? And I don't know. I just feel like every time we talk about pooping pants, you just like, I see a little gleam in your eye. You just find it Dude, so Dude, I love hilarious. bathroom humor. I love you, bathroom humor. So have you, so here's my question. Have you ever shit at yourself before? No, I haven't. But. Really? No, nah, I haven't shit myself, bro. But like that scene from Dumb and Dumber is my one of my favorite scenes. Wait, wait, break down the scene. All time, bro. It's so, uh, <clears throat> I forgot the dude's name from Dumb and Dumber, but there's Jim Carrey's character and the and other guy. And then there's the white guy yeah, with the blonde the, hair. The guy, right? So the, uh, Jim Carrey's character, uh, I don't really, I can't remember. But anyways, the, the other guy with blonde hair goes in to, they're both crushing on this girl. He goes into this girl's house to use the bathroom, right? Or not, he's to pick I, her up on a date. I know exactly what you're talking about. Hey, uh, his name is Jeff Daniels. Jeff Daniels? Jeff Daniels. All right. I, I, I. I haven't seen him. I don't really know what else he's in, to be honest. I think he has a couple of things, for real, for real. A couple of things, like, just low-key. Um, Damn, he's as old as hell now. Bro is, like, how old? 68. Damn. Damn, that's crazy. Old as hell, bro. This movie came out in, like, 2000 or something like that. I know, right? 99. And he really bodied it, bro. He did a good job at this he role, did. to be honest. Bro, but when he shits in that toilet and then basically finds out that the he shit, bro, he diarrheas because Jim Carrey put laxative in his coffee yeah. before he went over on that date because yeah. he was jealous yeah so he's diarrheaing in this bath uh, diarrheaing 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 diarrhea he has extreme diarrhea let's shit, say it like that shitting his guts out oh uh, shitting works right that's a synonym anyways uh so he's shitting his guts out in this girl's bathroom ugh, ugh, letting it go right ugh, ugh. <laughs> and she's outside the bathroom, you know, like, hey, we got to go. And he's like, okay, one second. <laughs> right? Then he's like, okay, okay. <sighs> I'm good. I just, I'm just shaving real quick. And then he tries to flush. And that bitch, she's like, hey, just so you know, don't use that bathroom because cause it can't flush. And he's like, oh, fuck. So he's trying to get that nasty shit out of the, the toilet. And then he's, he's like fucking looking in the cabinets trying to find She starts scooping it out the window and everything. It's just crazy. But like his reactions and stuff in it is so hilarious. And ever since then, I have loved bathroom humor. I, honestly, like. You've only seen a couple of my bathroom humor projects. That's why I was like, I heard you had a uh, had more before. I've we had even more before, filming. bro. Yeah. I've had more before. Like, uh -huh. I'm yeah, I, yeah, I'm bro. Oh that. my god, dog. It's wild, is because I pooped my pants before, bro. Oh, something hard, dog. When I was like, not the age to poop pants. You feel what I'm saying? Well, what age is? <laughs> <laughs> I think if you get after you're in diapers and you poop your pants, yeah. it's just a, it's an issue. It's, it's, it's an it's issue. issue. It's because an issue. That's what you're diapers are for. As soon as you get underwear, you graduate from diapers. That's because your parents trust you to not shit your pants. Yeah, and I, my mom was crazy for having trust in me. So, um, we went to the mall and uh we were taking the bus back home <laughs> how and, old um, were you i don't know the exact age but if i want to pinpoint it it was probably around nine okay that's nine, way 10 that's way too old to just old. you you five, not in diapers at that time potentially five or six years too old <laughs> yeah a while a while bro so um she asked me if i needed to go to the the bathroom and i was like no and then we hopped on a bus and it just hit me like straight in my guts mm -hmm. and i told my mom yo i'm finna poop bro mm -hmm. I'm, i can't hold it yeah and um she like no hold it you'll be okay my sister knew what was going on it's because uh -huh. it was me my mom and my sister and my sister purposely <clears throat> sat like legit aisles away from us on this bus she mm -hmm. sat like in the front we were in the back bro okay like she legit like acted like she didn't even know who we were mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
It was a 40 minute bus ride, bro. Oh no. So um, you know, I put my pants at minute seven, bro. I, mean, I couldn't says, hold yeah, it. Yeah, good 30, Boom. 33 minutes. <laughs> Bro, 33 minutes of it. In 33 minutes of sitting in, in poop, bro. And poop. I could only imagine, bro, because a 40 minute bus ride is at least like 12 stops, bro. So, you know how pissed off I would be if I hopped on the bus, smell poop, scan my little card, and just sat down? Uh-huh, and uh-huh. the thing about where I grew up from is a really small city. So, it was like that last stop. You feel <sighs> what I'm saying? It's because, like, in small cities, like, the bus cutoff is, like, 9 p.m. Yeah, yeah. So, we were on that last cycle. So, yeah. it's either you hopped onto this bus that smelled like poop uh-huh. or you just walk home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, bro, I sat in my poop for 33 minutes. And then not only that, like, it's a 10-minute walk uh-huh. <laughs> after we get to our stop to our house. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's because that's just how it is in the, in the country. So, yeah, bro, like, a good 43 minutes of just poopy in my pants, bro. And I'm like nine years old, bro. Oh, I was in so much trouble, bro. That's crazy. So man. much trouble. That's funny. So okay, if you since you, you know, you opened up to me and told me I lied. I have shit my pants. See, before. I knew you did, bro. I knew you did, bro. It's okay, bro. It's all right to poop pants every now and then. I, I mean, not at our age, you feel me? Even not shit at our your age. pants no. at, at twenty five no. yeah. and up. Yeah, even nine is even nine is, is that's that's is, questionable right there. Yeah, it's even, like, dang, bro, yeah. you you sure you're not in uh, uh the learning deficiency classes? Right, like, right. you might have a little, your kid might be a little bit off. Right, even nine is too old to shit your pants. And I, me personally, I shit my pants around twenty two, age twenty two. Bro, yes, that's old. Uh huh. That's like very like. <laughs> that's like you just like a was it due to drinking oh i know it was old but um no it, it wasn't well it was a lot of things so i'm, I'm interested so wait where were you at when you did this I'll where were you it. at when you pooped i'll take you through it okay yeah. let's, uh, um so i had a i had a uh um like a meeting with a film group this, this was in college right i had a meeting with the film group um okay and i had a date later that night but I so basically got drunk at before this meeting, right? So I, it was some alcohol involved. I, I, I feel like the only time you poop your pants when you're 22, you gotta be like wasted right? of yeah. some type. So I had some alcohol in me, but I was a little tired because I was drinking. So yeah. I got a big Red Bull. I think that size. I got that a size. big, big Red Bull. Maybe the one that's bigger than that potentially. Mm-hmm. But drank the whole thing, right? So I could go to this meeting. And the whole time my stomach was going crazy, you know, like not sitting right. And uh, was this when you were in your Jack Daniel stage? Uh, what, what alcohol were you off of? I might have been. It was. It was probably whiskey. It was something whiskey. Yeah. You yeah. ever had Henny shits? No. You ever drink Hennessy? If you ever drink Hennessy and shit afterwards, I feel bad for you. It's like tacos. Anyway, continue. Okay. Um. So I'm like, you know, my stomach is going crazy. I knew I had this date. So I leave, I go to see this girl, right? And I'm I'm at her crib. Ooh. Um so I'm you know Calm down, Aaron. This is in the past. This is before he met you. So He's lived a life. We we Continue. do it. So I get to this girl's crib, you know, we do the do. <laughs> you, know? Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so wait, all right, so so you you get in there, you you know what I'm saying? You do your thing, yeah, right? And you and see, you see all that movement you just did, right? And that was just from a little, just a Ooh. snippet of the re- right reenactment. So all that movement was making all this. That I bet that jiggled mm-hmm. them guts, bro. Mm-hmm. Jiggled them guts. So my my stomach, we we get finished. She like, you okay? I'm sitting on the edge of the bed. My stomach going. Pff, pff, pff. It's like bubbling like crazy. You know, little farts are sneaking out. <sighs> but luckily, we got the TV on in the background. You know okay, what I'm saying? Okay, so it's, 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 right. You can hide it. Right, right, right. So I said, look, we need to go to the gas station real quick, you know, pick up some Pepto-Bismol. I didn't tell her that. I said I wanted some gum. But uh, for me, really, I just want to get some Pepto-Bismol. Okay. So we go to the gas station. As we're going, though, my stomach, I couldn't hold it, man. So. And are you driving or is she driving? I'm driving, right? Damn. I'm literally driving. I'm, like, sweating. Uh, and how far is the gas station from the spot? It's literally, like, six minutes, bro. Okay, okay. Yeah. Not too far of a commute. Yeah. About 30 seconds in, though, I shit my pants. Damn. That's yes. like that's like closing the car door, putting in reverse, and then poop. Yeah. But, oh. But the issue is, um, that was a very liquidy poop. Um, oh. So it was a squirt more so than a so sound. It was, it was really wet. Literally, you couldn't hear it. It was a. It was very. It was like I. I felt it. I. But nobody heard it. 
So you had the volume on the music, right? Tempo, right. Huh? Yeah. So I, I say, I say there was about there was about three three human senses involved in this. Okay. So there was the sound, which was none, right? I, I I knew there was a little bit of a sound. She couldn't hear it. Mm-hmm. There there was the smell, which was atrocious. Oh, I my mean, Lord. although you couldn't hear it, it smelled like a hot like, shit. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Why well, smell like diarrhea? In here. Mm-hmm. And then I could feel it on my ass cheeks. Ah, that's the thing about it, bro. Yeah. It's the and not only that, it was liquid poop, huh? Right. It was just liquid. to have that texture, and you're sitting in a seat, mm-hmm. bro. Now. I didn't want to face the embarrassment of telling her that I just shit my pants. Okay. So I asked her. I said, hey, you just fart? Uh, and, and she said, no, I didn't fart. I said, are you sure? So I, I pulled the car over. <laughs> I said, I don't, I don't know. I don't. This We've been driving for a good minute and a half, and I'm still smelling this. So maybe just check your pants. You know what I'm saying? She said, I promise I didn't fart. I said, please, just get out and check your pants because the smell is atrocious. I can't deal with this anymore. <laughs> So she got out, you know, she looked in her pants. She said, no, I'm good. And I said, I think you're lying to me. So I said, I pulled, the, I leaned over, I pulled the door closed. Mm. and left her there on the sidewalk yeah. and I drove off. I, I, de- I, I deprived myself of more sex with that girl mm. oh, for, for the purpose of um, saving my pride. Hey, bro, I don't blame you because I feel like personally, if you were just to admit that it was boo-boo in your pants, she wasn't going to give you the coochie a second time. Either way, she wasn't.